Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you all know, it is the best day of the week because it is Face Beat Friday. Thank y'all for tuning in. If this is your first time, hi, my name is B, and welcome to my channel. So, today I am going to be doing a no foundation makeup look. I rarely do these. I am the girl who always has on foundation. If I'm going to put on something, I'm going to put on some light foundation. But I do want to play around and try a no foundation look. I've been trying to get my skin together after my pregnancy as those of you who have been following me for a while know. And I am still working on it. But I just wanted to try this out and see if I could at least like even me out without using foundation. So, with that being said, let's jump into the video. These who do not like to wear foundation a lot. Honestly, I've only started wearing foundation on a regular basis in the last maybe three years. Yeah, probably around when I started my YouTube channel. So, probably yeah, the last three years, three or four years, I've been wearing foundation consistently now before then I would just do my eyes my brows and keep it moving and I understand that that's a lot of my viewers you know they're y'all aren't necessarily into like the full face so I'm going to try to give you a no foundation look something that you could do that's easy honestly I'm a little nervous y'all because I have not done a no foundation look in a long time so you're I'm playing and you're you get to watch me play okay so the main reason to use foundation is to even out your complexion and I have a lot going on with my complexion as you all know I am only four months postpartum so my skin is still a little wonky I am going to try to create this look and embrace some of my natural flaws and things like that but even though I'm doing a no natural a, a, even though I'm doing a no foundation natural look, I am going to be using concealer. The concealer that I am going to be using is the Fenty 445. The great thing about concealer is honestly, it's kind of like foundation in that it is covering some of your flaws. Of course, in conjunction with foundation, it gives you more coverage and a smoother look. But you can just use concealer. You just have to make sure that you're using one that is close to your skin tone. My foundation shade in Fenty is 440. So the 440 concealer in Fenty is about a shade to two shades lighter than my foundation shade. I also have 445. 445 is closer to my actual skin shade. So when I am going to do a no foundation look, I will use more of the 445 because it's closer to my actual skin tone versus 440 which I typically use when I'm using foundation to highlight as well. Before we even get into the foundation and things like that, I'm going to hop off and do my brows and I'll be right back. Brows are done. Hope y'all like them. I actually did them a little lighter because clearly my hair is gray, basically. So I didn't want to do like super dark brows. What y'all think? Drop, drop down in the comments and tell me what you think about this color brow. Um, this is the True Brunette by MAC and I mixed it with my normal dark brown so that it would still be in the browns but just like lighter I don't know y'all tell me what you think down below now I'm gonna moisturize my face with bio elements absolute moisture this is the moisturizer is one of the moisturizers that I use the most I use the bio elements skincare line um, the cleanser, the mask, the toner, everything. I have a video on my skincare routine, so I will make sure I link that up here on the screen. And um, I'll try to remember to put it in the description as well. And then I'm gonna go back on top with my base tape hydrating primer. And even though I'm not doing full makeup, I just wanna make sure that what I do put on stays where I want it to go. So now that we are prepped and ready and I am going to take my Fenty 445 concealer and I am going to place this everywhere on my face that has those blemishes that I want to get rid of. And I'm gonna basically do like a good little bit right up under my eye. I'm gonna make a nice you because I'm going to spread this out 
along my cheek. We'll do just a tiny bit on my forehead and a tiny bit on my chin. And that's gonna be it. I'm gonna take a concealer brush. So this is the JP004 Precision Concealer Brush by Juvia's Place. And I'm using a brush rather than a sponge because I can really place it where I want it to go this way so I'm really down here focusing around my mouth and as you can see like I didn't put a lot but it's enough just to kind of cover a little bit of that blemishing now I did put m much more up here under my eye because of course that's where I'm trying to get the most coverage and I'm just stippling it up towards my eye and down on my cheek and I'm gonna take that all the way into my hairline just so that it's like a nice smooth it doesn't look like it just stops in the middle of my face as I'm spreading it and getting to the edges I just kind of brush it right along just to so that there are no harsh lines because I'm not going back on top with foundation so it needs to blend out beautifully now of course if you're not dealing with as many blemishes and discoloration as I am you don't even have to use this much you could just kind of more like spot treat or where let's say for instance I have a little pimple right here you could just like put something just like right there and now when I did my brows I used the Becca concealer in the color chestnut is this chestnut yes in the color chestnut so I did get a little bit of coverage on my forehead already and so I'm just kind of marrying those two concealers together and as you can see it just kind of evens me out so and now what's left over on my brush I'm just kind of taking down the center of my nose I haven't added anything to my face I'm just kind of taking it down the center same I'm still putting the concealer in the places that I would if I were highlighting my face it doesn't give you as much coverage so now I'm gonna take my Fenty a pro filter powder in the color nutmeg and I'm going to just dust that over my entire face I mean this um, powder is a translucent powder but it it does give you just like a little bit of coverage now I am going to take my sponge and I'm going to put just a little bit of extra powder right under my eye right where those um, dark circles are and you see I kind of placed it first and then I'm spreading it all around for my blush so this is an oldie but goodie this is the Stila palette perfect me perfect hue and I'm going to use the color witty now I'm going to take this pretty golden color here and I'm going to use my finger and I'm just going to kind of place that where I would for my highlight and y'all see the payoff in that? Like, I used a very little bit. Buff that out. So one great thing about this palette, I don't know, if, let me, is that on the back here, it tells you what the different colors are for. It's a great guide if you're not quite sure what to use what for. So I'm going to take the color Flirty on the top of my eye. Okay, next we're going to take that same color that we used for our highlight and we're going to sweep that on the lid. Right here on the inner crease, I'm really putting it into the crease as you can see. And I'm also going up past the lid onto the actual eye and just kind of sweeping it up. I'm going to take that first brush and I have not added anything and I'm just bringing that flirty color down onto the outer part of the lid as well to kind of marry it. I'm going to take a medium tapered blending brush and we're going to go in with this color mesmerizing. Now in the on the back of the palette it says to use this as a liner. I'm actually going to use this in my crease and I'm I tapped it like twice like very a very 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 light touch and once I have it placed I'm going to take little small circular motions just to marry it into that flirty brown color that we had take that same a uh, brown brush that we use and again haven't added anything I am just marrying colors so this is what I do to blend out my eyeshadow especially when I'm doing you know more though more simple looks I just like for my colors to all kind of melt together now we're just gonna go ahead and plop some liner on for my liner I'm using the Lord and Berry liner in the color supreme green 
going to put some mascara on really quick and I will be right back. So, lash is done, face is done. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do my lips. I'm going to be using MAC and this is the color burgundy. What? I know, no chestnut today. No, we're going to do we're going we gonna to do some burgundy. And this is an Avon lipstick. This is called Candy Red. So this is it you guys, this is the finished look. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this no foundation makeup tutorial. Tell me what you think. Of course this is not a flawless beat like I normally give y'all, but I think it turned out really nicely. Even though um, I did not use foundation, I still have a nice amount of coverage to where my skin, my complexion looks um, pretty even. Um, you still have a little blush, a little highlight. So it still looks like I have a lot of well, not a lot of makeup, but it still looks like I have a full face of makeup on, even though I really don't. Y'all tell me what y'all think about the finished look down below. And again, remember, if you like this unit, her name is Barbie. My units are for sale, Barbie, as well as any of my other units. You can always contact me at contact us at Beastock Styling or visit my website, www.beastockstyling.com to order your own unit. Also, don't forget to join my Patreon. Yes, that's right. I am a part of Patreon. For as little as $5 a month, you can support me and get bonus content, early access to the content that I already offer, many other things. I have my Patreon link down below for those of you who would like to support my channel monetarily. I really do appreciate it. Also, don't forget to follow me on all social media. That's Be Stoked Styling. And um, is that it? Is that all my announcements? I'll be on the lookout for a video about me styling this wig. I'm going to give you um, at least eight styles using this one wig. So be on the lookout. That video will be dropping soon. Thank y'all, as always, for tuning in to Face Beat Friday. Please don't forget to share this with your friends, your community, if you like this look. And comment down below and tell me what you think. And I will see y'all next week for another Face Beat Friday. Peace.